We've already discussed using the fillet feature to round off sharp edges and corners on your parts, so I'll now show you how to create fillet features at the assembly level. This means you can add more detail to your assembly designs without having to modify the part files individually. Also, by adding the features at the assembly level, you have the ability to choose whether you want the fillet or chamfer to only affect certain instances of the part, or if you would instead like to propagate the feature to the part file, which will add it to every instance of the component. Now, this is nice because when you're working with multiple instances of the same part, you may only want to add the fillet feature to a few of them without making any changes to the actual part file. Here I have a container with a lid and mounting bracket. I'm assembling this box along a flat face, but I would like to add fillets to the exposed edges of all three of the parts. Instead of opening up the part files and editing each component individually, just to end up adding the same sized fillet to each part, I can use a single fillet feature to complete this. To launch the fillet tool, I'll click on the Assembly Features drop-down menu and select Fillet. Adding fillets in the assembly environment is the same as it is when working with parts, but there are a few less options. You can only select either a constant radius or face fillet. Variable radius and full round fillets aren't available. I'll enter a value for the radius, and select the edges to fill it in the graphics window. The edges can be from any part within the assembly. Before I click the green check to finish up, there's one more option I would like to go over. At the bottom of the Property Manager, underneath the Feature Scope section, I have the option to propagate feature to parts. This will add the new fillet feature to the part files. I'll leave this checkbox clear, since I only want to affect these instances of the parts, and not the actual part files. And with the rest of the property set, just click the green check to add the fillet, and you can see the fillet has been added to the model. Just like with any other feature, I can make changes to it by clicking on it in the Feature Manager and selecting Edit Feature. The Fillet Property Manager reappears where I can make any changes I need.